1075 WGCI, the size number one for hip hop and RB. You know what it is. The morning show with the Destin legend Leon Rogers, the beautiful Kendra G, the shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle, and in the building today. Very special guest, man. They're brothers. They have the same mother and father. <laughs> they both make music. They're both family men. Yeah. Give it up for Taylor Bennett. Big day. Can yeah. I brag about you for a you second? Can brag about me. A hundred million on Spotify stream. Oh, yeah. Number yeah. two on Billboard. And this yeah. is big because you're the first independent artist to do that. Yeah, that feels good. How does it yeah. feel? Man, I feel I'm grateful. That's the best thing I could say. I'm okay. grateful. I go with Guy, yo, yeah. and he be yeah. keeping me. And I got my family on the album. I got yeah. my dad, my brother yeah. on the album. I got Nicki Minaj on the oh, album. Okay. I got the baby made in Tokyo, <laughs> Meg the Stallion, Randy Newman, John Legend, Gucci. Uh, Gucci Man. It's a lot of people, and and I'm appreciative to every one of those people for coming into my space and helping. Yeah, me. we so, ain't never had y'all here at the same time. Nah, never. Wow. I don't think no, that's so. That's crazy. No. Yeah. They've both been here, but not together. Not together. Yeah. Now, this means that you guys two really are two different people, like Gina and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Because y'all look so much alike. It's yeah. like, you know you got the same mother and same father. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we act a lot alike, too. Like, that's what people be saying to me when they see me. Like, they be like, oh, you look like... And I'll be like, oh, that's my brother. And they be like, you talk just like him, and you look like him, too. <laughs> like, yeah, we get all that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what's supposed to happen. Like I said, it'd be a problem if we didn't look alike. <laughs> It's funny, I, I, I learned that everybody didn't have that mom-dad relationship because no. people kept coming up to me like, y'all got the same mommy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's how kids are born. Yeah. Your dad lives in the house with yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know him. He's a good dude. Like, what's going on with you? But you're like, but that's crazy though in our community that yeah. you're an anomaly. Like I used yeah. to catch that all the time. Oh man, both your parents together and they love. Yeah. I'm like, well, ain't that ass yeah, it's like, so I thought that was a compliment. So nah, it's a, you're an anomaly. Nah, that's sad though in our community. Yeah, it's like, true though. And, and let's just shout out Mr. Bennett, their dad, who's actually in the studio right yeah, now. Shout who's out to my dad. Yes. We gotta start calling you the commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> He's a commissioner. It makes it happen. You know what I mean? He found positive words about anything. I was like, my kids ate up all the cereal yesterday, Mr. Bennett. And it pissed me off. Well, Leon, what you got on the cereal? I let my boys eat the cereal. <laughs> 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 I It's your first time here since the album came yeah. out. I love wow. the album. Big Day is out. I think I just saw um, you had 100 million streams. 100 million streams on on uh, on Spotify. Spotify. So Spotify is one of those places where your plays are, you know, it's like public. Is you know when you go to the website, you can yeah. click on a song that say this has this many millions of plays. So there's like chart data or something. One of the you know the people that count plays. You know, put it out there that it hit a hundred million. I don't know how many it is on Apple Music or Tidal or SoundCloud or anything like that yet, but a billion. Yeah, I just hit a just hit a billion on SoundCloud. So <laughs> it's going up. Yeah. You know the project. Yeah. I got some favorites. So I like Ball and Flossin because personally, because you shout out shout out downtown. When I go to places I'm like Southside, Northside, I never hear the downtown shout out. So I love that you show love <laughs> yeah. to downtown and Ball and Flossin because that's where I live. Because everybody live. goes downtown yeah. too. Yeah, it's like, shout it out. No matter if you're from out south or out west, and you gotta take North, the 290. That's gotta, what I like. Yeah, I'm like, why can't downtown get no love? And then I like the one, is it called Ro? The one that you yeah. have? Ru. I like yeah. the one you guys have together because it's a, I, I love y'all relationship, first of all. So I love the, the brotherhood, how you support each other. So I love that song. And I feel like y'all was going off on that song. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was definitely, I think um, when you brought the song to me, originally it was like um, Coco Rosie, which is like a childhood favorite uh, group of ours growing up. And then it was also like the production wise. It was just like something that for me, I walked in and met Coco Rosie while they were recording it with you. And I was just in shock. I had no idea I was going to be on the song. Chance was just making it. But uh, yeah, it was like very, very, I think, sentimental yeah. to me. Was uh, it hard, uh, little bro, to get 
people to jump on the album with you because you know like I, I see some of the people that you have on the album and I'm like wow I never would have thought of that combination I never would have thought was it was it a difficult process or when you picked up the phone it was like man yeah let's 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 a get a crack got Nick a lot of people Naj right that, I, 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 like, yeah, I said Nick Minaj on that twice <laughs> 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 you got Megan Stallion too I got I, it's, so what the, the everybody everybody right. feels like it's a Everybody fit in in a perfect way because the album scopes so many different genres of music and so many different feelings. But a lot of people like Gucci Mane could really feel, you know, making a song about your wife when you when they somebody that really, you know, held you up or helped you survive through some shit. And uh, that's that's what my relationship is with my wife and a lot of people that worked on the album. You know, there's a lot of female influence, a lot of female vocalists, a couple female rappers. Um, and just overall, it's like a lot of the conversation. And me as a dad, I'm about to have my second daughter. You know, I'm married, and I live in a, and you know, occupy a lot of spaces with women. So there was just this vibe instantly when I would bring people out because everybody that got on the album was in Chicago recording it. Everybody, I, you know. Also, Nicki Minaj was in Chicago. Yes, every little. Why'd literally you put every her on IG so we could have been stalking her? <laughs> you know, this is probably one of the most mysterious albums to ever come out. I would say it was. It, it came out with no singles, no music videos, no track listing, no cover art, and it went number two. You know, in a the week. Billy yeah. Boys. And, and, and it's and it's, but it's it's those kind of things that like. When you really devote time into something and you work on something and you have a clear message, or it's, it's going to connect, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to necessarily be re released in a traditional way. And I think that's that's sometimes what gets a lot of artists, especially independent artists, caught up is like, how do I work it the traditional route? How do I make it official? But it's like, if you put your time into it and you're an artist, it's, it's official already. I like five-year plan. Yeah, <laughs> Randy like Newman. Yeah, I, I, one of the things just Randy, about that, that's exactly what I'm. Randy Newman. Right, right. I love it. <laughs> you don't even know that, bro. You know one of the things about too, like the five, five year plan, and I think about how you've just orchestrated your career and had to be mapped out perfectly for you to get this far with no label support over the course of time. You know what I mean? So when you talk about a five year plan. And everybody wants to be somewhere better five years from where they are right now. You yeah. know, I just feel like that part of it resonated. Yeah, and it was also like, the lyrics are like, the first lines are like, uh, you got to schedule vacations in your five-year plan. You got to schedule celebrations in your five-year plan. Because when you're in high school, I, I went to Jones College Prep. I don't know if they put this pressure on everybody, but they were prepping us for college and prepping us for a traditional route to success. And they put a lot of pressure on us. And... What's crazy is that what I've learned in the time since I've been, you know, working is that everything doesn't have to be so stressful. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta you gotta take breath. Sometimes you gotta, you know, uh celebrate. Sometimes you gotta go and, and you know, there's always work to be done, but also you gotta like enjoy things. And that's something that I really learned on working on this project. Like this the most busy I ever been working on a project. I got married this year. Wife got pregnant this year. When did she do? Did you do that date? Next week. Next week. Sheesh. Okay. Do we have a name? Did you share the name with anybody yet? Are you keeping a secret? Okay, yeah, it's just, okay. just for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, question. So, you having another girl? Yeah. You gonna continue to try for the boy and end up like me with three yeah, girls? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going until I have eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> Is she, she, she down with that? That seems like that's what she. What she <laughs> not necessarily right now. She's like, uh, you know, that's a major a part. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to go to Barbados you. this summer. We're not going to do that. That's, <laughs> that's exactly that. what it is. You might get lucky. I need a year boy. of going out before I, before I do this again. And yeah. then let's talk about the tour because that's starting. It's not yeah, starting soon. September too. 14th. Yeah. How how many months? It's uh, it's two and two and a half months. And Taylor, you're also on the tour too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on a tour too. That's so I'm excited. It's my first tour with my brother. It's my first major tour. The last time I went on a tour with a major artist, 2014, Tory Lanez, four dates. So wow. everything outside of that has been like my own shows or festivals. Always wanted to go on tour with this guy. So, so now, now, now I'm, you know me, I'm going yeah, I'm I'm to I'm I'm get into the brother thing. Yeah. Like, man, when you recording sometimes, because you little bro, yeah. big brother laid his head in the studio like, yeah, man, that bar you should hit. <laughs> Get your ass out of here, man. <laughs> Smile. Like, do you get that sometimes? 
handle Big uh, Brother stick his head in and be I like, I would have did that like this. Bro. You know what's funny is I think that because of the relationship that me and Chance have always had since kids, I like to finish the creative process and then wait to see what Chance's backlash is in the future. Not like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not like crazy, but like I might like you know what I'm saying. I might have something. He might because everything like Chance said, he is. Um, he is somebody that builds people up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So anything that he says, you can always know that it's creative criticism no matter what. Gotcha. Um, but a lot of times for me, I think it's easier, especially already as an artist, to not to already have him and so many other influential people around me, for me to try to get these things through so they're natural, they're me, and then for the show mixes come back because that's tour and right. shows. That's him. That's all him. So when I could see, you know what I'm saying, that vision and come back and then get those show mixes done and get them ready and stuff, I'll put those kind of thoughts in there. So yeah, yeah, hold up. on, little brother. Look at <laughs> brother, <laughs> that, 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 that. Do it like that. Since <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> we're on a brother conversation right now, just the whole family thing, right? You guys are successful as the children in your household. What's something that you learned from your father? If there's one thing that comes to mind, like, yo, that piece of advice from my father is what led me to success. Like One thing I advice. always remember... Let him eat the cereal. Very <laughs> <laughs> close. It's like one of those that sounds just like that. <laughs> Did your parents ever tell you to move all the furniture? No, uh, I had... Not like I had, fighting, but like when you clean it. Yeah. Like no, again, furniture? Yeah. that's how I was in the garage. My father was like, pick up everything yeah. and sweep yeah. underneath. Exactly. Right. My dad used to come after we would go to sleep and put his finger across the wall. He'd move all the furniture off of the wall and put his finger across to see if there was dust yeah. and then wake us up <laughs> in the middle of the night and make us clean the whole house again. <laughs> that's child abuse. Before we that's, go to that's school. That's 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 it's not too late to report like this. this. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, Hell no. I got woke up. What? Yeah. <laughs> We wasn't getting our asses beat to get woke up. It's really, but it's deeper than that because it's not just about cleaning it's about so the overall the idea yeah. Yeah. of right. go, getting every right. single spot working on something until it's done Attention you know what i mean yes, not sir. leaving some shit that's you know it's like nobody's gonna look over there right. i got this part it, that that'll fix itself it's like no get every crevice and know that the job is done and then you could be proud of whatever you did mm. and then it's like if you attack the everything like that like literally moving the furniture on everything in your life your marriage your your relationships, your job, your friendships, like everything, you'd be straight. You'd at least be happy with it. I love that. Yeah. I'm excited because I don't know how many people know this, but the NBA All Star is happening in Chicago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like basketball. You go you know home? I like basketball. Yeah. Uh, I'm a finagle my way. Now I saw. Joint. Now I just saw. I, I I saw a video. This guy put the, a compilation together of the. Uh, Best rappers that play basketball. Okay, and he had him in that. tears. He had you in tier number three. Oh wow! Tier three. <laughs> tier three bro. He said he said can tell that he likes the game and is energetic. This was your scouting report. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you he likes the game. <laughs> I gotta see that. This you know, was made by somebody that's never hooped. In no, no, world. this dude actually hoops. Like he was like. Chance the Rapper, I could tell he brings energy, he'll put his <laughs> yeah. but his jumper is a little suspect. And I was like, yo, they got my man three. But you're playing though, right? right? Yeah, I'm going to figure it out. I don't think anything's scheduled yet. Oh, no, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to. I'm sure they're going to reach out. Yeah, I'm going to figure my way out in there, and, I'll, and then I'll move, you know, top. Uh, tier, tier, know, tier, yeah. Who was one and two on that list? Well, tier one was a guy you don't like. Uh, yeah. oh. Davies, but they all play college basketball, high school basketball. Staley, uh, that writes for oh, the MG. Not there. They all play D1 basketball. So me and Chance are the ambassadors for the 2020 All Star game. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. So, so that means we get to all the parties free now. I'm gonna hit you up, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are getting out. Like, that's <laughs> the minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, like man, we just know like, the whole city. I'm supposed to be a secret. We don't have tickets like that. <laughs> This is kind of how you do He's like, okay. <laughs> like, yo, my cousin's listening to it, though. You can't just say it. Chance said, if you black, you ain't black. That's what it is. Call me directly for tickets. All right, oh, it's going to be one homie. Chance said, if you yeah. black, you ain't black. Take a knee. Everybody take a knee. Before we get up out of here, um, we want to get everybody on board with the big day, yes. the big show. Uh, yes. When it comes to Chicago and stops at the United Center, give yes. them the date and when people can expect that. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's the 28th and 29th. We're giving away tickets here, too. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, y'all are giving them yeah. tickets here. Yeah. You don't know oh. that? Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> 
If you, the, oh yeah, so if you listen to this, make sure you grab your tickets to come see me live at the United Center the 28th and the 29th. Uh, tickets are available now at chanceraps.com. Yeah. You can also, uh, if you ain't already, I'm sure you have if you live in Chicago, but get that, that new album, my debut album, The Big Day. Uh, with features from Gucci Mane, yep. Meg Thee Stallion, yep. The Baby Made in Tokyo, Randy yep. Newman, Coco Rosie, John Legend. Yep. Uh, everybody's on there, and of course, Chance the Rapper's on there, because it's Chance right. the Rapper's debut album. Make sure you get the big day at Chance Rap. Is the store still available? So I know you had a store door on Lollapalooza. The, the store's not up right now, okay. but you know what? You know what? And if you live in Chicago, you know I put together little events, yes. little installations, yes. and I'm sure there'll be more okay. coming throughout the end of the year. So Yes. Excited for that. We love you. You always have a home here. Thank you for coming through. The album is out. Get it, get it, get it. Big day. Yeah. Good to see you all here at the same time, too. That was dope. Yeah. I love y'all. I appreciate it being able to be here. And shout out GCI. Shout out you guys, man, for, you know, supporting us throughout the years. We always appreciate it. Of course. All love other independent artists. Tell a better chance to rapper. We appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all check out the album. And, of course, make sure y'all show up at the United Center for the big show. All right? GCI.